Hello and welcome to my YouTube live broadcasting. God bless you. How is everybody? Can you hear me, guys? Is my sound loud and clear? Let me know if you can hear me. Give me one in the chat. Thank you for the confirmation, guys. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Phil Herrera. Welcome. Marion Graham Broheim, Natalia Bla, Naomi Pa, Dark Knight, Andrew Martin. Shivali Armand, Ratna, McCormack, Last Jedi, Long News of Jerusalem, Phil Pahit, Carl Kendo, all everybody. Sorry if I'm not mentioning all of your names, guys. I love you. Thank you for your support. God bless you and your families. Thank you for joining in. Today is another day <clears throat> to talk about a nice topic. And today's topic, guys, is is Islam the religion of peace as the Muslims have always told us for the last 14 e 1400 years right Muslims always say you know Islam means peace right guys so today we're going to do a nice investigation if that claim that is made by the Muslims I mean that's what they said right if that claim is true or not so before we start guys let us pray in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to be guided in today's Lord in, in today's teaching. Lord willing, we will have a nice and amazing teaching, guys. Pray with me. Dear Lord, please give me the courage to overcome lies, taqiyya, and deception. Help me not to lean on my own understanding, but in everything acknowledge you, Lord, so that you can direct my words thoughts and actions give us a measure of your strength so that we might not give into discouragement deception or doubt please lord please help us honor you in all our ways lord thank you that when i'm weak you are strong lord the devil is scheming and i know he desires to keep us from spending time with you lord thank you for your grace and because of the ultimate sacrifice of your beloved Holy Son, we are saved. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Please loosen my tongue so I can speak without any shame or any error, but only with truth. Please, Lord, give me the wisdom and courage to do Whatever needs to be done, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Like I said, thank you for joining in. Thank you for your support. God bless you. God bless your families. As we mentioned earlier on this live broadcast today, we'll have the opportunity to investigate if Islam is the religion of peace, as most Muslims claim. Last but not least, when I finish my teaching, we will have a nice Q&A session with our lovely guests in the live chat. As always, right? In other words, you can ask me questions about today's teaching and I will try to answer as far as I can. Hopefully, we will have also Muslim guests who will have the courage and the knowledge to call us live on Skype for a nice and respectful discussion. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Again, the Rob Christian without any separation. May the, the admins can provide my Skype ID in the live chat. Um, I want to ask the admins uh, if there is a Muslim in the live chat who has the courage and the knowledge to call me in between my teaching, I will break and stop the teaching. And, you know, I want to change the setup from now on. If there is a Muslim who actually thinks he can debate me, please send me a message through Skype uh, admins or, you know, highlight my name so we can um, open up Skype and have a nice, respectful discussion with this Muslim in between the teaching normally i do that in the end right guys but you know let us change it a little bit right 
maybe sometimes the Muslims can not uh, handle a long teaching. So, you know, we'll give them the opportunity from now on to call me in between. All right. So, let us start, guys. Is Islam the religion of peace, as Muslims claimed? That's today's topic. So hopefully you like this topic, guys. I know this is a mentioned, many times mentioned topic, right? And Muslims love to say, no, no, Islam is actually the religion of peace. Buddhi Dharma, you can ask me a question on my live Skype. Call me live on Skype. Then you can ask me my, a question, okay, Mr. Uh, Muslim? Yeah, if you, I mean, maybe you don't like uh, CP and someone is saying maybe someone doesn't like CP or his tell. I mean, now you are on the live chat, you're on, on the live show of Rob Christian. Maybe you think you have the courage and the knowledge. Call me live. I mean, I can open up my Skype. Give us your ID and we will call you. Or just let the admins know. And they will uh, tell me and I will open my Skype specially for you. Look how good we are, guys. Look how humble we are. <laughs> no, no. You know, if you actually want to debate me, I'm here. I'm live. Come on, man. I mean, guys, for the people who have watched my last five or six videos, we have been spanking Mimi Hijab and his team for the last week. Every day, day in, day out. And I did not receive any challenge for the debate, guys. They didn't even dare to do a response video. I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. Right? Chefen, Chefen. Jesus. I, you know, I'm nothing. CP is nothing. We are all nothing without Jesus. You know, don't follow me. I'm not, I never, I, you will never hear me. Guys, please follow me. No, 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 no. My friend, I am re replaceable. Jesus maybe had the plan to make me a teacher, but I am replaceable. I'm nobody. I am saying it here in front of everybody. I am a nobody. You don't need me. You don't need Christian Prince. You don't need Sam Shamroon. You need only Jesus. We are all replaceable. But if it's the plan of Jesus to make me a teacher and expose Islam, that's his plan. I am nobody compared to Jesus. Don't follow me, guys. Don't follow any teacher. Right? Don't put 100% faith on Christian Prince or Rob Christian or anybody. Put only 100% faith in Jesus Christ. Right? We are nobody. We are nothing without Jesus. We are dust. Okay? Let that be clear and loud for everybody. Alright guys? Jesus is Lord. And every knee will bow and proclaim that He is the King of Kings. Deal with it. Alright? So let us start our today's teaching. I wanted to make that clear, okay guys? I wanted to make that clear. You don't need us. We are nobodies. Exactly, Liz. We are just dust in the wind. But because, because God is a loving God, He didn't want us to perish, right? This is why we need Him, right? We need Him because He, only He, could have saved us. And we are saved through the blood and sacrifice and grace of our holy God and Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let that be loud and clear. Guys, let us start, okay? I'm not going to pay much attention to the Abduls who are trying to, you know. So hopefully, we will have a Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge to debate us, right? Let us start. 
You know, Muslims have always claimed, like we said earlier, they have always claimed that Islam is the religion of peace. It's the only religion of peace. No religion is as peaceful as Islam. But why are Christians not going on the streets like the Muslims? As you see here in the background. Muslim, don't panic. Muslim, don't panic. Throw stones. Right? Throw stones. Right? Yeah, religion of pieces. Yeah, exactly. Right? Now, if we go to the hadith, guys, we can read the following. Narrated Abu Huraira. This is Sahih al Bukhari. Sahih, 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 Sahih. I'm, guys, this is Jibreel speaking in the cave of Hira. Sahih, Sahih, Sahih. Iqra, 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 Iqra. Ma ana bi qari, qari, qari. Ma ana bi qari, qari. I cannot read, read, read. Okay. Enough with the jokes. Uh, guys, narrated Abu Huraira, the verse. You truly Muslims are the best of peoples ever raised up for mankind. Means the best Muslims are the best people for the people as you bring them with chains around their necks till they embrace Islam. And they love to tell you Islam is peace. Islam is tolerant. No, Abduls. Islam means you have to bring everybody that is not accepting Islam with chains on, on their necks till they embrace Islam and the proof is in front of you. Did you see it? And this is from Sahih al-Bukhari, Bukhari, Bukhari. Sahih, Sahih, Sahih al-Bukhari, Bukhari. Volume 6, book 60, hadith number 80. Let me give you the link. Let me give you the link, guys. God bless you for the people who just joined in. You are not late. We just started, actually. Please share the link of today's live show on social media. Let everybody know that it's that time of the week. It's another video to expose the evil cult called Islam. So the real Muslims... The real Muslims, not these um, Muslims like this legend, what is his name? Mr. Legend, the legend. You know, that's a huge claim to call yourself the legend. Uh, you know, this Buddhi Dharma and those, you know, these sugar-coated Muslims, you know, these sweet Muslims that we love to call them, you know, Mohammedans. These are not the real Muslims. The real Muslims are actually ISIS, you know. I mean, the... Um, ISIS, the, today's ISIS compared to the Sahaba and Muhammad, they are cute. They are cute, cutie pies. They are cute, right? Yeah, you are the real Abdul. Yeah, you are the real cutie pie Abdul of today. But the real Muslims are the Sahaba. And what did Muhammad say? The best of generation is the first generation of Muslims. All right? Yeah, le legend is a myth. Exactly. He's a myth. He claims to be the myth. Yeah, legend story. Like, uh, like Islam. Islam is full of legend stories. Fake fairy tale stories, exactly. Yeah. You know, we have really some sharp Christians, man. I love that. My, you know, Longus of Jerusalem, my friend, you're sharp today. Did you drink like 10 liters of coffee? What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> Guys, keep us in your prayers, please. Keep our beloved Edmonds, who are always doing an amazing job. Phil. Longiness of Jerusalem uh, and all of the other admins, please keep them also in your prayers. We need your prayers. We need your support, guys. No, Abdul. Abdul. Abdul means slave. Slave does not mean servant. Jesus, yes, came to serve. This is why he didn't say, uh, I'm God, I'm the boss, worship me. He came to serve. Right? True. But he's not your Abdul. He's not the Abdul of Allah, as you claim. You know, that's different. Maybe the fake Isa, but we, know, we never heard of Isa before, right? You know, this guy, you know, he wants to change the topic. You know, 
you know, stay a nice Abdul and listen. Maybe you'll learn something about true Islam, not the Islam that you follow, right? So we just proved to you that the real Abduls is, are not those Abdul who sit on the live chat, try to be a nice text keyboard jihadis. No, the real Abduls are the ones who are ISIS, right? Those are the true Muslims who bring people with chains around their necks till they embrace Islam, convert to Islam, right? If we go to another hadith, to Sahih Muslim, hadith number 21a, let me give you the link. Guys, if you have any questions, sometimes I can't see the questions when I'm teaching. So please don't forget your questions and try to ask them later in the Q&A session, right? So if you have any questions, write them down, take a notepad and write them down. And then you can ask me the question if you are confused about the answer or maybe you can't find the right answer. I will try to answer your question, right? But I can teach and answer questions at the same time, right? So this is Sahih Muslim. Sahih, 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 Kif Hira, Jibreel, Sahih, Sahih, Iqra, 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 Iqra. Okay. Messenger of Allah said, I have been commanded to fight against people so long as they not declare that there is no God but Allah, La, right? El, El, La. So you have to accept the moon idol, La, and he who professed it was guaranteed the protection of his property and life. Wow. This sounds truly like a peaceful religion. I mean, a religion of pieces. You don't accept Muhammad and Allah. Your blood will not be protected from the hands of Muhammad. Your property, your women, your daughters. He will rape your daughters. He will take them as sex slaves. He will take your wives, your women as sex slaves. Right? Only then you are guaranteed. Right? If you are not a Muslim, if you don't become a Muslim, there is nothing called guarantee. They will kill you. They will take your women, your daughters, your wives as sex slaves. This is the true face of Islam. This is Muhammad speaking, right? This is not Rob Christian talking. Yeah. The terrorist religion, exactly, Haibaru, exactly. And the proof is in front of you. This is Sahih, Sahih, Sahih. Hadith. Sahih, Sahih, Sahih. Kif Hira, Sahih, Sahih, Sahih. Maybe the Muslims don't hear it, you know. When they make videos, they always use echo, right? This is why we are using echo. Because they are trying to, you know, to copy how Muhammad was talking to the so called uh, Jibreel, who they claim is an angel. But it was a big demon, right? Who was squeezing him. <laughs> Iqra, 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 Sahih, Sahih, Sahih. Echo, always with an echo, guys, right? When they make those uh, Nasheed songs, right? It's always with an echo, man. Even the recitation of the Quran with an echo. Echo, echo, echo. Allah, la, 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 la. Anyway. <laughs> you see the, the, the religion of peace, guys? Your blood is only protected if you become a Muslim. Your wives, your property, that means your wives, your daughters, your money, your life is only protected if you convert to Islam. You see that? Religion of peace, right Muslims? This is, this is the religion of peace. Is this the peace that you mean? I mean, I think you, your Islamic dictionaries, when you open up the word peace, you will see this, right, Muslims? You will see this, right? This is what you see, right? That's the meaning of your peace, right? I think Muslims have a different dictionary than we have, guys. I mean, the proof is in front of you, right? This is, this is the meaning of peace in Islam, right? This is the meaning of peace in Islam, right? Bring 
the non-Muslims with chains around their necks till they convert to Islam, till they embrace Islam. And the proof is in front of you. Someone, uh, one of our brothers in uh, Discord, he was posting this picture that you see here, you know. These are the 13 doctrines of ISIS. Now, Muslims here in the West, they dare without any shame, without any dignity or honor, they love to say, ISIS are not Muslims. Oh, really? <laughs> ISIS, guys, ISIS are not Muslims. God bless you too, uh, guys. Thank you for joining in. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, right? And smash that like button. Also, click on the notification bell to receive notification when we go live or upload videos. Help me to help you guys, right? You know, you know by now how <clears throat> YouTube is working right you know it's all about unfortunately it's all about the likes and subscribes right else you will not end up in higher ratings you know nobody actually knows how the algorithms work for Google and YouTube but it is what it is right so you know you see that Muslims are actually got their teaching their ideology from the Quran it's everywhere everything that they are mentioning is from the Quran you know beating women we will show you that later uh, you know raping sex slaves chapter 4 ayah 24 right 65 for even there is nothing called punishment for rape in the Quran I challenge any Muslim to show me the punishment for rape in the Quran there is nothing called punishment for rape so when you rape someone you 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 know Allah did not say what the punishment is for for that rape so don't come here and say you know you're not allowed to rape women no no you are allowed to rape women and Allah will not punish you and no one can punish you right so you see we'll go through some of them but it's all over so who are the true muslims isis are not these sugar coated cute muslims here in the west who try to tell you islam is the religion of peace right islam is the religion you know this guy guys this guy has a, a huge uh, number of followers on youtube he's a rapper he loves to to, to talk a rap about the beautiful religion of peace so this is why i took this abdul with his nice beard and his trimmed uh, mustache you know uh, you know i think i think you know muslims are really only deceiving themselves nobody else in 2019 nobody believes your lies and deception anymore right so we th should thank allah Guys, we should thank Allah for internet because finally, because of the internet, we can fully expose this so-called religion of pieces, right? I mean, uh, peace. <laughs> yeah, you see, you see the Quranic ayahs, guys. Quran, 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 two twenty seventeen nine hundred eleven twenty four four nine twenty nine. You know, ISIS took their teaching directly from the Quran. It's Quran. It's not even Hadith, right? Lie, right? Deception. It's all over the Quran. Right? If we go to chapter 47, ayah 4, guys. Are you with me, guys? Let me know if my sound is loud and clear. And I hope you are still with me and I didn't put you asleep. Chapter 47, ayah 4. Saying, this is chapter of Muhammad. So when you confronted disbelievers, that means the Jews, the Christians, the pagans, the Sabians, 
strike at their necks. Wow, what? Now Muslims will say this means in war, right? It says in the Arabic, when you find who are disbelievers. You know, if you go to, I try to find a very close translation. This is the closest one that I could find to what the actual Arabic says. You know, because people like this legend, fairy tale guy who is doing a nice jihadi text terrorist. You know, these cutie pie Muslims of today, they love to change the topic, you know, personal attack me, doing personal attacks on me, trying to mock me. And my friend, uh, the, the legend, Abdul, listen, listen. Christians, Christians don't care if you, if, if you insult us. We don't care if you call us names. It's, I'm immune for that. Didn't I always say, guys, every morning before I do a video or live show, I eat my seven ajwa. I'm immune for taqiyya. I'm immune for... Uh, black magic, I'm immune for uh, all kind of things, man. For poison, I'm immune for insults. You, do you see me insulting you back? No, I don't need that. Right? Hi, Abdul Haliga Habibi. Kifak. Everybody who just joined in, uh, YM Kano says, God bless you. Nice to have you on board with us today. So you see, when you find, the Arabic is clear. It says, when you find the disbelievers, strike their necks. This is the religion of pieces? I mean, peace? Muslims. So when you find, when Sharia implemented, and you are going to go find disbelievers and invade their lands, and they don't accept Islam, immediately chop off their heads. Right? Only the Jews and the Christians, you can force jizya on them, so you can take the mafia protection money from them. If they don't accept that, you can take their wives, their daughters, from the Jews and the Christians, and cut off their necks. I mean, the proof is in front. They, they want to stay disbelievers, that means your head will come off clean. Right? This is the religion of peace, Muslims, that you love to talk about. So you have to strike at their necks until when you have slain them in plenty. Wow. You know, not on, only a couple of them. You know, you have to keep on going. Tie them up. So it's not only enough to cut off their heads. You have to also to tie them up firmly. Then after that, you may either release them as a favor or take ransom. Right? That means, the, for example, the jizya. Until the war lays down its ordeal. This is it. And had Allah willed, he himself could have taken revenge from them. So, I mean, Allah, why are you asking the Muslims for help if, if you can do it? What nonsense is that? You need Muslims to protect you all? To fight for you? Can't you come down and fight your own fights? So, this is the religion of peace, Muslims. Huh? Guys, if there's any Muslim in the chat who has the courage and the knowledge to call me live, we are live, let me know. I will open up my Skype. Alright? Send me a message. I hope there will be an Ustaz who has the courage and the knowledge to call me live. We are live today, here, right now, right guys? And if we go to chapter 9, 14, chapter 9, 14, Surah Al-Tawbah, right? To the eyes of uh, the sword, chapter of the sword. I wonder, guys, have you ever asked yourself why this chapter is called the chapter of the sword? <laughs> huh? Fight them! Allah will torment them at your hands and disgrace them and grant you victory over them and cure the breast of a people who are believers. I mean, if you have a, 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 a deceased 
you have a disease in your heart through tormenting them tormenting who the jews the christians the non-believers the pagans the sabians whatever you want to call it. everybody who is non-muslim you will be tormented by who through the hands of the muslims did you catch it through the hands of the muslims allah is tormenting right and not only that you will be disgraced this is the religion of peace or are you talking about pieces and then allah will grant you victory i mean allah why are you not doing your own fights man if you are truly god as you claim to be mr allah why are you not doing your own fighting right why all this bloodshed man do it you can do it in a split second right like this remember the movie of uh uh the infinity wars right the avengers i mean you remember when uh in the last scene i don't want to give you spoilers but when uh, <laughs> like this you know if you didn't see that movie i'm not going to spoil it it's over right like this in a split of i mean allah you claim to be god clearly there's nothing called allah because it's muhammad these ayahs are fabricated by muhammad for his own agenda muhammad had a personal agenda he wanted to be the warlord in the middle east so he was inventing ayahs saying it's allah who is telling us in the quran to fight and allah will torment the non-believers through your hands and they, he will disgrace them right and that will be the cure if you have any disease in your heart that will be the cure for your disease in your hearts in your breasts wow this is the cure of allah allah had no uh, medicine left the medicine uh, was gone guys thank you for your donation god bless you thank you for your support god bless you and your families we appreciate it so this is this is the cure allah could not have come without any or any better idea this is this is this is the cure of allah i think we need to ask jibril to make some new medicine man this is you know this is the the, the medicine torment is the medicine this craze is the medicine of allah now, this is the medicine guys i mean if you have any disease in your breast in your heart or in your lungs Allah's medicine is torment for the disbelievers and disgrace for the disbelievers and victory right wow what a beautiful medicine and this is the religion of peace I mean peace is Muslims that you love to talk about I'm convinced man I'm convinced that Islam means the religion of peace actually if you go to Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 216, guys. Am I putting you to sleep, guys? Am I putting you asleep or should we continue? Is there any Muslim? Is there any Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge to call me live? I'm live. Come on, call me, man. Then let me know. Give me your Skype ID or call me or tell the admins. I will open up my scalp and we can have a nice respectful discussion. Maybe you can refute me and show everybody that actually Islam is the religion of peace. I mean, maybe Rob Christian is a liar. Maybe I'm a liar like Ali Dawa and uh, Mimi Hijab that we were spanking for the last five days. Guys, those Abdul heroes, Mimi Hijab and his boyfriends, they did not dare to call us or even make a response video to refute us. I mean, Christian Prince made videos. I made videos to defend our friend, the apostate prophet, right? Remember the six hour long video that Mimi Hijab uploaded? We dissected the whole video when we refuted everything they said. We spanked them, we served them for everybody to see that they are nothing but deceivers and liars, right? And how many times did we tell you guys? Islam, when they defend Islam, when they 
debate Muslims, uh, Christians, that means they are using deception because for them it's a war and war is deception. The art of war is deception, right? So never ever believe a Muslim when he's defending Islam. Yeah, you know, the legend, the legend, you know, his guy, he doesn't know Arabic and I've been spanking him left and right on Discord, right? And then, you know, I was like, okay, dude, you are a coward. You don't want to debate me on voice. You know, he's only a, a text terrorist, like his heroes, right? Cowards, man. Is it, are these the Muslims of today? I mean, guys, I kid you not. If Muhammad would have be alive today in 2019 and the Sahaba were with him, the companions of Muhammad, they would have feel ashamed, disgraced by the Muslims of today. Why? Because the Muslims of today are nothing but cowards. They are nothing but keyboard jihadi terrorists, text terrorists. Muhammad is now turning in his grave in, in, with his rotting body in Medina from shame. He's ashamed of today's Muslims. Shame on you. Abdul, the legend, you answered nothing. You got spanked, you got served. Okay? And I didn't even use my microphone. I mean, my microphone, guys, is really expensive. I have one of the most expensive microphones. You know how, how expensive it is? It's $5, man. It's, it's huge money, man. And my microphone is actually my sword, and I've been slaying Islam left and right. And no Muslim can do anything about it. I mean, $5, man. I mean, it's expensive, man. $5 mic ex exposing the filth called Islam. Yeah, I mean, that's big money, man. And you're using your... Destroying your keyboard. I mean, this guy is ramming on his keyboard, right? Saying, you know what this guy says, guys? This, <laughs> this legend guy, he says, I don't own a microphone. I don't own a microphone. Abdul, who are you trying to deceive? Are you telling me that you don't own a smartphone in 2019 to call me? You filthy liar. <laughs> you can install Skype on your phone. You can install Discord on your phone. Why are you such liars, man? No, no, uh, Phil Herrera, forget about the $5 for a mic. The, are you telling me nobody in 2019 owns a smartphone? We can't even live without smartphones, right? People can't even live without their phone. Try to live without your phone for one hour in 2000. You can't. And are you telling me your smartphone has no microphone built in? <laughs> what a shame. What it bust. Yeah, I used tele what's what's called telepathy, telepathic. Abdul, yeah, telep You know, use your mind. Mind control, like Muhammad the Satan was mind controlling Muhammad for at least six months with black magic. What's wrong with this guy? He thinks he's having sex with his wives. Well, that's not true. I mean, Aisha said it. Not me talking, right? Muhammad actually was walking like a majnoon, a crazy person, madman, right, in Medina, in Mecca, he was walking like a majnoon, and people were calling him majnoon, someone who is possessed by jinn, right, that's the right Arabic word, majnoon is someone who is possessed by jinn, so he was a madman, walking like a madman, saying to, to the people, uh, today I had sex with my wives, well, that never happened, right, I think uh, he meant to say the, with a watermelon, right? He had sex with a watermelon, thinking that uh, he was doing it with, with Aisha and Hafza and uh, uh, Sauda. And, yeah, yeah this, that was his nickname, Jimmy. I can't, you know, don't blame me. Go to the Quran. Even in the Quran, Muhammad is called a Majnoon. Right? In the Quran, Muhammad is called Majnoon. What's wrong with these Muslims, man? Yeah, someone who is possessed by jinn, Karian, Majnoon, 
Hence, jinn, majnoon, jinn, is someone who is possessed by jinn. So Muhammad was possessed by Satan because Satan is a jinn, right? He's the master of the jinns. Did you catch it? So Muhammad was under the mind control of Satan for at least six months. And he also gave the satanic verses because Muhammad was again under the mind control of Satan, delivering the satanic verses to the pagan Meccans. And not only that, he did sujood, which means prostration. Is an act of worship. You bow down, you prostrate to Allah. These are the satanic verses, guys. These are the mighty cranes. Their intercession is hoped for, right? Guys, do you love the Arabic or is it too much? <laughs> Yeah, those are the satanic verses, guys, that I was saying in the Arabic, that Muhammad gave to the pagan Quraysh, his own tribe, his own people, right? It's too much. Shall I say it like this? This is better? Well, yeah, this is from Satan. I mean, I, you should be scared, right? These are satanic things, man. These are the words of Satan. <laughs> and Muhammad bowed down to Allah al wal manat right? So, guys, if we go to chapter 2, ayah 216, let us go back to the topic. Chapter Al-Baqarah, this is the cow, right? This is the cow. Guys, a, a question to the audience. A question to the live chat. Why is this chapter called Al-Baqarah? Anyone? Yeah, Karyan. More. Yeah, that's, that's the name of the chapter. Al-Mumu, yeah. Why is it called like that? Why is it called the baqarah The chapter of the cow. Why is that? The cow chapter, yes. Why is it called like this? Yeah, I'm asking why is it called like this? Guys, come on, focus. Yes, exactly, Peter. Correct. You are correct, sir. According to this chapter, and this is why it's called the chapter of the cow, in the Jews, now look how Muhammad is lying about the Jews. The Jews... One of the Jews was killed, right? He was killed. And to know who is the killer of this guy, they slaughtered a cow, hence the chapter of the cow. They slaughtered a cow and they took part of the cow, maybe the tail of the cow or the leg of the cow, and they started beating the dead guy. I kid you not. Boom! Boom! I mean, the guy is dead. Why are you beating him, man? Be merciful, man. The guy is already dead in his grave. And you start to beat him? So they start to beat the guy. <laughs> I kid you, this true story. <laughs> so they start to beat him. Pow, 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 right? And because of the, all the beating, the poor man is getting beaten, right? In his, in, in, and while he's dead. Because of the build, uh, all the beating, he is resurrected, right? So if you want to res resurrect anyone who is dead, Try kill a cow, kill a cow, slaughter a cow, and start to beat him with the leg of the cow. So the guy got resurrected, and he told the people who his killer was. So guys, if you, uh, if you want to do a resurrection, according to the Quran, you can slaughter a cow. If you have a friend who, yeah, guys, I know it's not a joke, but this is the true story. It's in the Quran. Be the guy who is dead by the part of a cow. True story, guys. I mean, uh, if you are not now convinced that Islam is true, that means you don't know the meaning of truth. Right, guys? You should go to the dictionary and you will understand what the... You know, when you look up truth, it means beating someone who is dead with a part of a cow to resurrect him. That's the, the meaning of truth. Beat it. Beat it! Yeah, that one. You like Michael Jackson, uh, Michael? That's why you called Michael? You like beat it? 
Do, 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 do. Yeah, he was a good singer, man. Anyway, so prescribe for you, prescribe for the Abduls who are suffering from Abdulism is fighting. So guys, Allah prescribed for the Abduls fighting. So why are you sitting here uh, in the live chat, you, you know, using taqiyya and uh, trying to debate Christians? while well, you have to fight. Be a true Muslim. Don't be a hypocrite. Don't be a hypocrite. 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 But actually start fighting for Allah's cause. So a true Muslim must fight. You see it? Though it be hateful to you. So according to Allah here, even if, you know, we have described, Allah is talking here. We have described for you fighting. Maybe you will hate it. Yet it may happen that you will hate a thing which is better for you. So Allah is saying, maybe you are not someone who likes to fight. You don't like violence. Maybe you are a really uh, nice Abdul, you know, you are a Christlam, you know. We call Muslims who are acting like Christians. You know, love, love your enemies and, uh, you know, be friends with everybody. Those are the Christians, right? Those are the, the Muslims, the, the cutie pie Muslims here in the West, right? Uh, copying us, not listening to Allah, right? And Allah is saying, maybe you, hi you will hate fighting, but it's a thing which is better for you. So fighting... Is prescribed for all the Abduls. Right? So all I'm saying guys basically. We gave you fighting. It's for you. Maybe you'll hate it. But it's good for you. Do it. But we know it's Muhammad who is doing this. Right? Muhammad simply wanted to have an army. And he was trying to convince the people, you know, you have to fight. But he actually meant to say, you know, I'm a warlord. I made myself a warlord. And I want to have a big army. So let me invent ayahs, fabricate ayahs. So Muslims will follow. Because it's so-called divine revelation, right? I mean, Jibril told me, man. Uh, this is Jibril. Muhammad, 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 كيف حراء, كيف حراء, read, اقرأ, اقرأ, fighting is prescribed for you, 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 right? You see that? So the Abduls who are not fighting are nothing but munafiqun, they are nothing but hypocrites. I mean the proof, the, the, the proof is in front of you, right guys? What's wrong with you, man? And if we go to chapter 9, guys, chapter of the sword, chapter of the sword, which they call a toba, chapter of the sword, ayah 111. Indeed, Allah has purchased from the Muslims their lives. What? Allah purchased the Muslims their lives? Man, Allah buys people? Bribes people? They, he, he, he's a seller of people? A buyer of people. So Allah bought the lives of the Abduls and their wealth in exchange of paradise for them. Again, Allah needs to repeat himself, fighting in Allah's cause, slaying and being slain. So again, don't worry. Guys, Muslims, don't worry. Be happy. Allah already purchased your lives that means you already if you're going to fight Allah don't worry be happy if you die or you die or you get killed or you you kill Allah is giving you paradise I mean your paradise is guaranteed for you if you fight for Allah man he will give you 72 big breasted raisins you know some Muslims say uh, those are not women those are not huris they are raisins Big breasted raisins. You know what raisins are, right? You know? Big breasted raisins. 
boing 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 yeah some muslims dare to say it's uh, raisins that you can eat right <laughs> i kid you not have you never heard it but we know it's 72 Huris for the lowest Muslims, right? Those are the Muslims who are, you know, low. They don't actually are the bravest one, right? But the best Muslims, they get, will get thousands and thousands and thousands of Huris, right? What, what, Abdul Haliga, what are you saying? The legend don't, don't show to Rob right here now if Tusabi hasn't glory by him what it means eh? yalla speak Zalami speak now are you talking to him Abdul Haliga or are you talking to me my friend I think you're talking to him right yeah that was in uh, in yesterday's teaching right guys we showed you that Tasbih Subhanallah Tasbih is only glorified for Allah Subhanallah which comes from Tasbih Sub Tasbih Sub Tasbih, subhanallah, right? Glory to Allah only, right? And we prove that to you. Because, you know, I had some Muslims in the comment section saying, Rob Christian, glorification does not mean it's an act of worship. It means honoring, respecting, right? Because Ali Dawa busted himself, huge bust, said, we glorify Jesus more than you Christians. And then we showed him, no, Abdul, when you glorify Jesus, that means you are a worshiper of Jesus. Congratulations, Ali Dawa, you became a Christian. Congratulations, you left Islam, right? So this legend, this guy, he's not an Arabic speaker. He's a, he's a kid, man. He came to change topic and, you know, what else is new? So guys, Allah purchased the Muslim lives. If, if you die, don't worry, be happy. If you die in battle, you are fighting and you are getting slain, right? Or you are slaying your enemy. Don't worry, be happy. Already Allah purchased your life. He bought your life and you will get paradise. And uh, thousands of uh, young boys who will serve you, bring you bananas and uh, all kind of nice fruit and uh, khamar, wine and... Uh, I mean, you will have a lot of uh, young boys with eyes like pearls. No beard. The, the young boys, they are so beautiful, man. Boys? Why do I need boys, man? Why do I need young boys without a beard? Doesn't that sound fishy, guys? Young boys without beards? Very young? Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Guys, have you heard of this? Khaybar Khaybar Ya Yahud. Jaishu Muhammad Sofa Yaud. Have you heard of this? Actually, for the people who do not know what this means, the Abduls, for let's say in Palestine, when they go on the street, they say, Khaybar Khaybar Ya Yahud. Jeshu Muhammad Sofa Yaud. That means Khaybar Khaybar, O Jews. Khaybar Khaybar, which was a Jewish town that Muhammad conquered and he raped all the women. He killed the men and he raped all the women. He took them as sex slaves. So, and then they poisoned him. They poisoned Muhammad, remember, in Khaybar, right? So the Jews, when they say Khaybar Khaybar Ya Yahud, they are reminding the Jews that they poisoned Muhammad in Khaybar. <laughs> so they go on the street like monkeys, like donkeys, dancing around, marching. Khaybar, Khaybar, Ya Yahud. The army of Muhammad will come back. The army of Muhammad will come back. Why not the army of uh, Allah, man? Clearly, you are worshippers of Muhammad. That's why, right? Right, Muslims? You are Muhammadans. You are not, you know, you know, you are not Muslims, man. Yeah, so Khaybar Khaybar Ya Yahud, Khaybar Khaybar, O Jews, the army of Muhammad will come back. Right? You see? You know, Islam is peace, man. You know, Islam means peace, guys. But, you know, the army... The army will come back with love. They will love you and they will kiss you and they will hug you. 
They will not use stones or swords or missiles. No, no, no. This is the army of love. The army of love of Muhammad, right? This is the, the peace that this Abdul, like this Abdul, is talking about, right? The religion of uh, peace, uh, I mean, uh, not peace, it's peace, right? Religion, religion of peace? I mean, come on, uh, guys, the proof is in front of you. This is a religion of love, right? The army of Muhammad is the army of love, right? Do you, li do you like this teaching, Abdul Halik? Are you sure, man? I, I'm, I think I'm putting you asleep, bro. Anyway, if we continue, chapter 5, Surah Al-Ma'idah, chapter 5, ayah 33. We have, guys, wait a second. We have more than 130 people watching. And are you telling me no Muslim has the courage and the knowledge to call me life? I mean, I'm life. Oh, ho, Alayna. Oh ho, Alina, man! What is this, man? Ya khabtik, ya Muslimin, ya khabtik. Right? I pity you, Muslims. I pity you that your imams are not defending Islam from us. They are not protecting Islam from Rob Christian. Ya khibtik ya 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 muslimin. These are the sad days of Islam, guys. These are the sad days of Islam. How many times did we tell you that internet, guys, is the worst nightmare for Islam? And Muslims have nothing to say. I mean, they claim Islam is the biggest religion, the fastest growing religion. They claim that they have 1.8 billion Muslims. That's what they said, right? And are you telling me not one Imam, not, not one Ustaz dares to call us life, to refute us? What a sad, sad religion, man. Sad Abdul, man. Chapter 5, Ayah 33. The only reward of those who make war upon Allah. So the ones who are fighting Allah. And his noble messenger. Noble messenger? Guys, there's nothing called noble messenger. You see how they are adding words? Noble messenger. You know, they want to make, show you how noble Muhammad is Abdul it says Allah ha wa rasuluhu Allah wa rasuluhu where is the noble man you you filthy liar you see when they translate guys how many times did we tell you don't ever don't ever trust a translation you see how important it is to know Arabic guys noble messenger <laughs> oh man you disgusting liars, man. Disgusting, man. Deception, man. Anyway. <clears throat> so, the only reward for those who make war upon Allah and His Messenger and cause turmoil in the land is that they be all be killed. What? So, if I cause, let's say I'm causing fitna, right? I'm go causing division in the land. My reward as a Christian, let's say, guys, for example, I am now exposing Islam, right? That means I have to be killed. I have to be crucified only because I'm exposing Muhammad, the fake prophet, and his man-made cult. Man-made cult. That means I have to be killed. I have to get crucified. And not only that, I mean, this is not enough. According to Allah, getting killed is not enough or getting crucified is not enough. You know, I, my hands must co come off and my feet must come off. Allah, why do you need to, uh, you know, torment people, man? I mean, kill them and get over it. That's easy, right? But you must f let them be tormented like this. 
I mean, guys, when you crucify someone, he will suffer. He can suffer for days, right? Days. Till he dies from the torment, right? I mean, Allah. I mean, you know, cut his head off and get over with. Why do you need to torment people, man? This is the religion of uh, peace, Muslims. You have to cut people's head off? That's not enough. You have to crucify them. Cut their feet off. Hands. This is the religion of peace, Muslims. The religion of pieces. Yeah, pieces with an E-I. I-E, sorry, I-E. Yeah, the religion of peace, guys. Yo, yo, this guy's a rapper. Yo, yo, Islam is the religion of peace, yo. Yeah. Clearly, right? Clearly the religion of peace. Yo, yo. So, chapter 8, guys. <clears throat> chapter 8, Al-Anfal, Ayah 12. And recall when your Lord inspired the angels, I am certainly with you. So make firm the feet of those who believe. I will cause terror. What? You said peace, man. Allah, Allah, Allah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Guys, wait, wait, wait. Wait, Muslims have always told us that Islam means peace. And now Allah is claiming he will be a terrorist? Allah the, the dead terrorist? I mean Allah the terrorist? This is, this is the religion of peace? I mean, I mean Allah, if you claim to be merciful, Allah Rahman Al Rahim, right guys? If you go to, uh, to any chapter, the first words are, Allah Rahman Rahim, the, the merciful, the most merciful. But you're claiming to be the, the terrorist, man. What merciful, what peace. Yeah, we, we have seen the, the peace of uh, Muslims in, uh, in the Middle East, guys. When they started to attack uh, Iraq by the sword, right? They attacked Egypt, they enslaved women children they killed a man they took uh, turkey from the christians i mean turkey was christian country man for immediately after the apostles one of the first lands were syria that became christians right immediately not by the sword of muhammad not by terror but with love and preaching right Right? But they took those lands by force, by the sword of Allah and Muhammad, by terror. See that? Allah, the dead terrorist, the solid moon idol stone statue, claiming to be the terrorist. And the proof is in front of you. And not only that, not only is he going to be the terror, terrorist, casting terror in the hearts of those who disbelieve. That's, that's not the only thing that he claims, but he will also, he says, so strike at their necks and strike at every pore and tip. I mean, come on, I understand you want to kill those people, man, who do not accept Islam. I understand you are a terrorist. I fully understand you. But that's not only enough. You have to also cut off their fingertips. Uh, toes and, 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 and fingernails. Cut, uh, cutting off the nails? The fingertips? Why, man? Allah, we understand you are a terrorist. We understand that. We understand why al-Baghdadi, right? Why ISIS are terrorists like you. We understand that. But why do you have to, I mean, uh, kill them and get over it. Why do you have to, after you kill them, you have to also to do all... The Kind of nasty stuff, man. This is nasty, man. <laughs> oh, man. Guys, I'm really getting disgusted when I'm teaching about all this bloodshed and, you know. I don't like blood, to be honest with you. But, you know, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. This is the cult of Islam, man. Terrorist. Allah, the dead terrorist and his... Uh, 
dead uh, prophet who is now rotting in his grave in Medina and still after 1400 years Muslims have to be terrorists they have to strike at the necks with the sword of Muhammad and cut off fingertips and toes now guys 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 we always ask Muslims we always ask Muslims this following question we have been asking Muslims this following questions for many years now did Muhammad kill any women or children guys are you with me give me one if you're still with me to know that I did not put you asleep I know I sometimes uh, what can I do I'm boring guy man so yeah okay <laughs> okay guys without jokes jokes aside so we have been asking Muslims did Muhammad kill any women or children you know what they say without any shame without any dignity or honor they say the Imams the shiuch they say no no yes no you heard it uh, Rob Christian you know uh, let us call Zachar Naik guys let me try to call Zachar Naik Tring, tring. hello yeah this is Rob Christian brother sister why are you calling me no guys I can't do this I guys I can't do Zachar Naik sorry guys <laughs> no I can't but Zachar Naik would say no <laughs> no no what no man are you sure abdul yeah no <laughs> nose <laughs> oh nose <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> no <laughs> why no yeah because no no is no man yes is yes no is no okay okay abdul mr ustaz so your final answer is no yes no is it yes or no? I mean no, no, no. Okay, so no? Are you sure no? This is a one million dollar question. I mean I will give you money, man. Yes, no. Is it yes or no? Make up your mind, man. It means no, no, no. Okay. So you think you will get the million dollar from Rob Christian? Yes. What is it? Yes or no? No, I mean no. Are you stupid, Rob Christian? No is no. Okay. So no is the answer, right? Yes, it is no. But uh, Rob Krishna, you'll get me the one million dollar, right? Yes, yes, no worry. So is it yes or no? Just to be sure. Uh, and yes, no. Abdul, is it yes or no? No, 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 no. Okay, no, no. Okay, no, guys. He said no, right? Zakir Naik said no. All the Muslims say no. Let us see if this is true. Okay. To prove it to you that they say no, let me prove to you what they say about a guy who kills women and children. He said no, right? Guys, you heard the Sheikh, right? Sheikh, are you still convinced that it's no? Yes, it's no. Sheikh, is it yes or no? No. Uh, a Rob Christian, Abdul. Uh, I'm not an Abdul, I'm a Christian, okay? I, it is no and it stays no. Okay, no, no. Guys, he said no. You heard him, right? So, so he's going to go for the one mil million dollar, right? He's betting for one million dollar. Zakir Naik and other... Shiuch say no, no, okay, no. So if we go to the website of this Sheikh Muhammad Salah al Munajid, IslamQA.info, IslamQA.info, let's see what this Sheikh has to say. This is the Sheikh, PhD Sheikh from Al Azhar or Medina. I don't know where he got his PhD from, but anyway, he is a doctor in Islam he's a sheikh and he calls himself Muhammad Salah al Munajjid that's his name okay so this guy he clearly can issue fatwas you see he even gives them numbers you see that so this is the number of the fatwa and here's the thing and Abdul is asking the question now pay attention guys are you with me let me know if you're with me from where in Quran few killers find their way in such way already exists so this Abdul is asking you know what, what is it man 
And he used the answer from the Shaykh. So now the Shaykh is going to answer, guys. He's going to issue the fatwa. He is saying the following, guys. Uh, let me scroll back. The Abdul, the Shaykh is saying the following, guys. Pay attention. No one can believe that any person with religion or any mercy. Pay attention, guys. This is, these are the words of the Shaykh, right? In his heart would split a pregnant woman's belly and take the infant out then kill it. Kill children one by one in front of their parents. Smash heads with axes or burn the living. Only a criminal with a heart harder than a stone, which has no mercy, does not know Allah, or does not know believe in the he after would do such acts. Did you catch what he said, guys? So according to the Shaykh, according to the Shaykh, you are a man without a heart. Your heart will be a stone, basically. Harder than a stone. You have no mercy in your heart. And you do not know Allah. Guys, pay attention. Take notes. This is important. So according to the Shaykh, you do not know Allah. You are not a true Muslim. And you do not have belief in the hereafter, which is paradise, right? In Islam, Jannah. Only such a person will kill women and children. Did you catch it? Women, children. You see? So that's the Shaykh. I mean, this is not my words. These are the words of this Shaykh Muhammad Salah al munajjid You caught it, right, guys? Did you catch it? Give me one if you understood what he said. So basically, the Shaykh saying, saying, you are not a Muslim if you kill women and children. Basically, in a nutshell, right? You caught it, right, guys? This is the Shaykh saying this, not me. He does not know Allah. That means you're not a Muslim, right? You don't believe in Jannah. But let's see, let's see if Muhammad killed women and children. <laughs> Sunan Ibn Majah. Sunan Ibn Majah. Sahih, Sahih, Sahih. Hadith, Hadith, Sahih, Sahih. Kaif Hira, Sahih, Sahih, Sahih. Volume 4, book 24, hadith number 2839. Let me give you the link. Guys, copy this hadith, bookmark it, save it. Do what you have to do. Look what it says. It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, the cousin of Muhammad, Sa'ab bin Jatama said, the Prophet, Allah is praying on him. We don't know who is, why Allah is praying and to who Allah is praying, but anyway. That's off topic. So the Prophet was asked about the polytheists, the pagans, right? Who are attacked at night. So the Abduls were attacking the pagans, right? At night. So it, they attacked the Abduls at night. Uh, the Abduls attacked the pagans at night. And their women and children are killed. Uh oh. What? The women and children of the pagans got killed by the Muslims. And look what Muhammad said. He said, Muhammad said, they are from among them. Kill them. They are from among them. Yeah, it's okay to kill them. They are pagans anyway. So did Muhammad kill women and children? Yes. What did the Sheikh say? No. I mean, uh, Mr. Zakir Naik, you just lost one million dollar. You lost a million dollar. I think Zakir Naik is now crying, man. He did not become a million. Oh, wait, he has many millions on his bank, bank account, right? He's in Malaysia somewhere, I think, hiding with a lot of millions. So, you know, so he's crying for this million that he will not got from Rob Christian, right? So, Muhammad did kill women and children. What did the Sheikh say? What did the Sheikh say? Only a criminal with a heart harder than a stone, only a criminal without any mercy. Only a criminal who does not know Allah, a disbeliever, a munafiq, a kafir, who does not believe in paradise, would do such acts. So according to this Shaykh, Shaykh Muhammad Salah al munajjid Muhammad is not a Muslim. He is, his heart is from stone. He does not believe in Allah. So Muhammad is a fake Muslim. Boom. What do the Muslims say? No. <laughs> No. Are you sure, Abdul? No. <laughs> so, are you sure or are you not sure? No. <laughs>
No. Now the answer is yes. Muhammad did kill children. And he said, kill them. They are from the pagans. Kill them anyway. Mashallah. Mashallah. No. I mean, no. I, you see, you heard it. This is Sheikh speaking, not me. No. Yeah, don't say no, Abdul. Yes. Say yes. Muhammad killed women and children. He ordered the killing of women and children. He's the, he's the, the kingpin, right? He's the mafia. Mafia leader. Kill them. These are... They don't follow me. Kill them. Women and children. Abdul. Muhammad. 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 These are women and children. Why? So... Kill them. They are from among them. Kill them. Muslims. Shame on you. Shame on you for saying no. Your imams, your shiuch have no shame. They have no dignity. I mean, this is sahih hadith, right? Don't say this is fake hadith. Daif, daif, daif. No, this is sahih, 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 sahih. Guys, do you like today's teaching? Do you like today's teaching or what? Should we do this kind of teaching? You know, sometimes guys, I have so many topics in my mind. I can't choose which topic to choose for the next live show. There are so many topics, but so little time, guys. Right? You know, I really pity uh, the Muslim ladies in Islam. I really pity. I think they are the huge number of victims. They are the true victims of Islam. Those are the women. Unfortunately, right? Imagine if you're a young lady, right? You have to wear hijab. You have to listen to your husband, your brothers, your cousins, right? Because they are the boss of... Right? They are the boss. The males are the boss, not the women, right? You have nothing to say when it comes to decisions. Uh, I mean, if you go, uh, if you go uh, in Saudi Arabia, let's say, if you have to walk on the street in public, you have to always have a male with you. Right? The women in Islam are the, you know, look how beautiful these women are, man. Lovely, you know. These could be your sisters, right? Poor victims, man. Sad. Yeah, it's very sad, Carrie Ann. They have to cover their heads. They have nothing to say. They are, according to Muhammad, they are uh, half-brained. How can, you know, how can a creature, such a beautiful creature, created by God, how do you accept as a woman that Muhammad calling you half-brained? You have a disease in your brains, basically. That is why you are half-brained. You are not a complete human, according to Muhammad, right? If you are a complete human, your brain will not be in half, basically, right? You are not brain deficient. That's what Muhammad said about women. Those are not my words, man. Right? So, if there are women who are watching, who are Muslims, wake up, man. Please leave, leave this satanic death cult. It's a death cult. It's a cult created by a man 1400 years ago somewhere in a desert called Mecca. And till today you believe that this is religion? This is the truth? Be strong, Muslim, Muslimas. Women in Islam, be strong. Leave this cult, man. How are you accepting this? Now, if we go to the Quran, guys, Surah An Nisa, there's a chapter about the women, right? Surah An Nisa, chapter of the women, right? Chapter 4, ayah uh, 34. Yeah, you wonder the same, right? So, I'm not the only one thinking that, thank God, I'm not the only one thinking that women should not be oppressed. Thank you, Lord, that I'm not the only one, right? So, Chapter 4, Ayah 34, men are the protectors and maintainers of women because Allah said so. Oh, because Allah made one of them excel over the other and because they spent out of their possessions. 
So basically, according to Allah, the women are, you know, spending the money of the men. Men are working and women are spending money. That means, that is why the males are the boss. I'm boss because you're spending money. Women, women, you buy uh, clothes. I have to work all day long and you are wasting my money, right? Thus, righteous women are obedient and guard the rights of men in their absence under Allah's protection. Wow. As for women, um, you fear rebellion. So guys, pay attention. If you're a Muslim male, pay attention guys. Don't get deceived by Muslims who love to say this is not true. So if you, as a male, you have a wife, Muslim wife, if you fear, if you fear that your wife is being disobedient, she is rebellious, you're allowed to be there. Now Muslims, these liars will tell you, these are steps, man. Step one, step two. No, no, no. If you fear rebellion, you can immediately start to beat them. If you're only fearing that your wife might, it might or may be rebellious or disobedient, start immediately beating her. Right? There's, are not, there's nothing called steps. Where, where are the steps, man? Go to the Arabic. So they love to say, step one, admonish them. Step two, remain part from their press and then beat them. That's a lie. You can immediately start to beat them, right? Don't believe any Muslim. How many times did we tell you, don't believe Muslims? Because the Arabic does not say that. I challenge any Muslim to show me any step here. Immediately, ta'quraq, ta'quraq. Yalla alayhum, alayhum, ta'quraq. Right? Beat them. That's what they say in Arabic. Alayhum, ta'quraq. Start to uh, beat them immediately. Beat it. Yeah. Beat her, beat her. Actually, Peter, Peter, the wall. Peter, the wall. It's actually beat it. You are correct, sir. Let me show you that women are actually not humans in Islam. Guys, I'm going to prove to you that women in Islam are not humans. They are animals. What? What did you say, Rob Christian? How dare you, man? Yes, according to Islam, women are not humans. They are animals. Yeah, so Peter the Well, stop giving me... Don't stop reminding me of things, man. You are putting words in my mind, man. Stop doing that, Peter. What's wrong with you, man? You are basically forcing me to expose Islam more. And, you know, the shiuch, the shiuch will say, uh, Islam is the best thing that would have happened to women. It gave women a lot of rights. What? But wait, Abdul. Can you beat your wife? Yes. Can you be what? Yes, you can beat her. If she is disobedient, beat her. Oh, but you just said you gave all the rights to, oh, but yeah, you can beat her, no problem. Oh, okay. I see. So, look what Muhammad said. We are going to prove to you that women in Islam, if you are a Muslim watching, you are not a human. Okay? Look what Muhammad is comparing women with who? Prophet Muhammad recorded saying, women, dogs, and donkeys Cancel, abrogate, basically cancel a, a man's prayer. So when you are a male praying, you are doing oh, Allahu Akbar, right? Allahu Akbar. Allah, please don't curse me like the Jews and the Christians, right? They repeat Surah chapter 1, Ayah 1, 7, right? If you go, guys, if we go to chapter 1, some, sometimes we have to repeat this because a lot of people have no clue yet. When Muslims pray at least 17 times, 17 times, yes, 17 times, have you heard it? 17 times at least a day, 17, 17 times a day, they say, please Allah, guide us, right? Unlike, not like those Jews, right? Not like those Jews that you, they got their anger, their right, you know? The wrath of Allah on them. Your anger, you see that those are the Jews. And not those who are misguided. Who are those? The Christians. 
So Muslims are repeating the curses of Allah, who cursed the Jews and who cursed the Christians. You see that now this is the explanation of chapter 17, right guys? If you want to know about the curses of Allah, these are the curses of Allah. So Allah cursed the Jews and he cursed the Christians. You see it? Yeah, anger is the Jews. Guys, take notes. Chapter 1, ayah 7. These are the Jews and these are the Christians. So this is why the Jews must go. <laughs> go in, what, what the, Rob Christian. Focus, Rob Christian, focus. What is go? What is go? Be more specific, Rob Christian. That means you have to kill them. What? I didn't hear. Kill the Jews, kill the Jews, kill the Jews. What? Kill the Jews, kill the Jews. Every Muslim must kill the Jews. Yeah. The Christians can pay jizya, right? Because they are misguided. I mean, I mean Allah made me misguided. This is why I'm exposing his fake code. I mean the cult of Muhammad, who he created this cult, right? Write it down, yeah, write it down. So, let us go back, guys. We said, someone was asking about the curses, so I had to, you know. So, women, dogs, and donkeys. What? I, I, didn't I sell, tell you that I'm going to show you that women are not humans? Women, dogs, and donkeys. Nice conversation, right, guys? Women, dogs and donkeys can cancel a man's prayer. Musnad Ahmad Ibn Hanbal, Musnad Ibn Hanbal, volume 2, page 2992. Musnad Ibn Hanbal, volume 2, page 2992. Women are compared to dogs and donkeys. Not only that, I'm not finished. What, Rob Christian? It's enough is enough, Rob. No, 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 no. What did Islam teach more? Al-Qurtubi. You have heard of Al-Qurtubi by now, right guys? Al-Qurtubi, one of the highest scholars who is doing nice tafsir. 1273. Women are like cows, horses and camels. What? What are women in Islam? Women are like cows, horses and camels. Come again? I, I did not hear you. Women are like cows, horses and camels. For all are ridden. <laughs> you know what ridden mean, right, guys? I don't have to. I mean, yeah, you know, like, you know, uh, woohoo! <laughs> boing boing? Yeah, okay. You, un you understood, right? Boing boing. That kind of, you know, ridden. See that? So, women, if, if there are women who are Muslims, Muslimas, if you are watching, you are not a human. What? Yeah, Rob Christian just said it. You are not a human in Islam. You are a you are a cow. You are a horse. How do what do horses say, guys? Okay. And camels. I have no clue what camels sound like. Anyway, so you are a cow, you are a horse, and you are a camel, and you have to be. Uh, <coughs> bing boing boing bang boom bang boom bang. Yeah. You are not a human, sister. Yep. I mean, the proof is in front of you, man. Yeah, just boom, 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 uh, object, yeah. So, women are only good for one thing, that's sex and uh, getting pregnant. Right? Getting pregnant. You know, for children. They are nothing but a baby factory. Right? They are baby factories. That's what women are in Islam. They are like cows, horses, and camels. What did Muhammad say? He compared them with dogs and donkeys. Beautiful religion. Peaceful religion for women. Right? Man, this makes me sad. If I was a woman, I would have not stayed for one split second in Islam. If I knew, I never heard about this, today I would leave Islam. So guys, women, Leave this satanic cult. Please come back to Jesus. No one else can save you except Jesus Christ. Islam is nothing but a fake man-made cult for the men to control the women. For war, for death, for power, for sex. Boom, boom, religion. Exactly. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, now.
forget about it. Boom boom religion, yeah. Take notes. Do we have any Muslim guys? Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim? No sheikh, no stars. Where, where are the shiuch when, the, when you need them, man? Eh? No sheikh. Wow. What a sad, sad day for Islam, man. No Muslim has the courage or the knowledge to call me life to refute me. And they say Islam is the religion of peace. Islam is the best thing that was brought to mankind. For the women, Islam respects women. <clears throat> yeah, Islam respects women, guys. What? Yeah, Islam respects women, Rob Christian. Stop lying, you filthy Christian. Yeah. Why are you lying, Christian? I'm not lying. I mean, come on, man. This is your prophet speaking. I mean, is, isn't this big enough to see? Prophet Muhammad recorded saying, Women, dogs, and donkeys can cancel the prayer of a man. Women are like cows, horses, and camels. For all are... Hee hee! Woo! Bang, 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 boom, boom. Yeah. That's why no one calls. They can't say anything to that. Yeah, well, it is what it is. Mr. Zero One. It is what it is. This is Islam. This is the true face of Islam. The moment they can control you, they will take the country from you. They will be the number one power. They will implement Sharia. This is what is going to happen to the women. Right? You don't pay jizya, you die anyway as a Christian. Right? Muslims don't panic. <clears throat> Muslim don't panic. Jizya is here. Sharia is here. Women will become... Cows, horses, and camels. We will take your women as sex slaves. Allahu Akbar. Right? Alhamdulillah. Rabbil Alameen. Right? Glory to Allah who brought the terrorist religion called Islam. Right? Or do you mean to say glory to Muhammad? What? Yeah, glory to Muhammad, guys. According to the Quran, I can't mention this enough, guys. According to the Quran, you have to worship Muhammad. Yes, you heard it correctly. How many people know this? According to the Quran, you have to worship Muhammad. And the proof is in front of you. Let me tell you about this ayah. Have you never heard of this? You are new to our program. لِتُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَتُعَزِّرُوهُ وَتُوَقِّرُوهُ وَتُسَبِّحُوهُ Bukratan wa asila. What does it mean? If you're an Arabic like me, you're an Arabic speaker like me, you speak Al Arabiya, you went to school, you took Arabic exams, you had to learn the basic grammar rules in the Arabic, you have to understand that the last mentioned person, who is in this case Muhammad, if you ask the Muslims, who is this? They say, Muhammad. Okay, it's Muhammad, okay? Are you sure? Yeah, it's Muhammad. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the confirmation. That means, according to the Arabic grammar rules, you have to assist Muhammad in battle, you have to honor Muhammad, and you have what? To glorify Muhammad. You see it? So, when Muslims translate, guys, they have to lie in their translation. You see? Filthy liars, man. How many times are they putting the name Allah here? One. In the translation, you see? One, two. Why they are doing this? Because they have to lie. Does the Arabic say Allah twice? No. It says here, Billahi wa rasulihi wa tu'azziruhu. Sorry, wa tu'azziruhu wa tu'waqqiruhu wa tu'sabbihuhu bukratan wa asila. Did you hear Allah twice? No. Let me play it for you to show you that these people are liars. Let me play the... Recitation, recitation in the Arabic. Here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> 
لِتُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَتُعَزِّرُوهُ وَتُوَقِّرُوهُ وَتُسَبِّحُوهُ بُكْرَةً وَأَصِيلًا Did you hear? So they have to add, add, add to lie to you, to deceive you if you don't know Arabic. So again guys, according to our basic Arabic grammar rules. The last person mentioned, all the words that come after the last person, they are addressed for the last person. So that means you have to glorify Muhammad every morning and every evening. Who? Muhammad. So who is actually the real God of Islam? Oh, uh, sorry, Muhammad. Not uh, sorry, Muhammad. Right? Muhammad. And you know, this is why you use echo, guys. Do you hear the echo? Iqra, <laughs> iqra. They always use echo. <laughs> so, who is the real God in Islam? It's Muhammad. Here, Muhammad actually proved, when he fabricated this, I proved to everybody that he is the real God of Islam. Right? He is the real God of Islam because you have to glorify Muhammad. Not Allah. No, no. You have to glorify Muhammad, the Rasul, every morning and evening. Glorify Muhammad every morning and evening. Man made cult created by one man, Muhammad, to worship Muhammad. Any sheikh, any imam who dares to refute me, I challenge you to refute me. Come on, give me your best shot. Your best shot, give it to me. Come at me, bro. <laughs> you know, uh, Mimi Hijab loves MMA. Come at me, bro. Come on, man. Come on. I'm here, right here, right now. Right? Man made religion. To glorify Muhammad and the proof is in front of you. Doing tasbih for the Rasul. Glorify Muhammad every morning and evening. Glorify who? Muhammad, the Prophet. Right? The Rasul. Right? If we go to Sahih al-Bukhari, guys. Sahih al-Bukhari. Okay. I need to make this like this. Okay. So if we go to Sahih al-Bukhari. Sahih, 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 Sahih al-Bukhari. Hadith number 29, 26. 29, 26. Let me drink something, guys. My... Th throat is starting to itch. I'm almost two hours alive. Oh, wow. Okay. So Allah's Messenger said, The hour will not be established until you fight the Jews. So every Jew must go. What do you mean, go, Rob Christian? Every Jew must go. I mean, focus, Rob. What do you mean by go? You have to kill them. Oh, okay. And the stone behind which a Jew will be hiding will say, So the stones will start to speak. The stones start to talk and they will say, Hey Muslim Abdul, there's a Jew behind me. Come and kill him, man. Oh Muslim, there's a Jew behind me. So go, come and kill him. What? You said, wait, wait, wait. Muslims, you say that Islam is a religion of peace. and But you have to kill all the Jews? Yes. What? I didn't hear. Yes, we have to kill all the Jews. Why, man? You claim to be a religion of peace. No, we have to kill all the Jews, else Judgment Day will not come. So to, guys, for the Muslims to enter the sex Jannah of Allah, the prostitution sex paradise of Allah, to get the 72 Huris, the Muslims must kill the Jews first. Did you catch it? Let me give you the Hadith, guys. So all the Jews must go. What do you mean by go? Kill the Jews. So if you do not kill all the Jews, you will not go to paradise. Do you see it? Do you see it, guys? 
Did you catch it? Every Jew must die. And to prove that, to prove to you guys that this is not a fake hadith or, uh, you know, Muslims dare to call me a liar. Let me show you, let me show you what the sheikhs are saying about this. يا اخواني النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم بشرنا وقال لا تقوم الساعة حتى يقاتلون حتى يقاتل المسلمون اليهود ف ف فيقتل المسلمون اليهود ويختبئ اليهودي حتى يختبئ اليهودي خلف الحجر والشجر فينادي الحجر والشجر يا مسلم يا عبد الله هذا يهودي ورائي تعال فاقتل إلا شجر الغرقد فإنه من شجرهم. This is the promise of the of Allah سبحانه وتعالى. في آخر الزمان حينما ينتصر المسلمون على شرار الخلق على شياطين الإنس يقول الحجر والشجر يا مسلم يا عبد الله يا مسلم يا عبد الله هذا يهودي خلفي. وحتى يقول الحجر والشجر يا مسلم يا عبد الله هذا يهودي ورائي فاقتل هكذا وعدنا سيدنا رسول الله قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا تقوم الساعة حتى حتى يقاتل المسلمون اليهود فيقتلهم المسلمون حتى يختبئ اليهود وراء الشجر والحجر فيقول الشجر والحجر يا مسلم يا عبد الله هذا يهودي خلفي فتعالى فاقتله إلا الغرقد فإنه من شجر اليهود فقد أنبأنا النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم تقاتلون اليهود حتى يختبئ اليهودي وراء الحجر والشجر فيقول الحجر والشجر يا عبد الله يا مسلم هذا يهودي خلفي فتعال فاقتل أقول لرجال الأعمال والمال إن الاستثمار في أرض القدس إن بناء المؤسسات إن إعمار لا تقوم الساعة حتى يقاتل المسلمون اليهود فيقتلهم المسلمون فيختبئ اليهودي وراء الحجر والشجر فينادي الحجر والشجر قائلا يا مسلم يا عبد الله هذا يهودي خلفي تعالى فاقتل إلا الغرقد فإنه من شجر اليهود Guys, you heard the echo, right? Kill the Jews, the Jews, the Jews, kill the Jews, the Jews, always with an echo. When, whenever they make videos, it's always with an echo. You see how this, these children, man, brainwashed children, putting hatred of innocent, this is an innocent child, Abduls. Why are you teaching, why are you teaching your children hate? There are even cartoons, guys, I kid you not. There are cartoons created by Muslims to put hatred in the hearts of the Muslim children to hate Jews. Right? Hate Jews. Kill all the Jews. This is the religion of peace that you talk about, Muslims. <laughs> the <tree. laughs> Except the tree of the Jews, guys. The tree of the Jews... And they will not say there is a Jew behind me. So if you're a Jew, I advise you to go hide behind the, your Jewish tree. <laughs> so Muslims will not see you. <laughs> if I was Israel, guys, today, I would get a lot of 
Kharqad trees, right? Get those trees, plant them everywhere, and hide behind them. <laughs> oh man, it's really sad to brainwash children, to put hatred in the hearts of children. You must be such an evil Abdu to do that. And every parent, guys, I kid you not, every parent, every Muslim parent is teaching his children to hate Jews. Kill all the Jews. Right? Right? Kill all the Jews. Right? But Abdul, 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 you said, you said to me, you said to me, you don't kill, you don't kill, you don't enslave, you don't, you said no. No. Did Muhammad kill any women and children? No. What? No. He said, they are among them, kill them. But, but Muhammad, these are women and children. Yes, so go kill them. But the shiuch, the shiuch say, no, no, yes, yes, don't say no. You lost one million dollars, man. This is the one million dollar question. Did Muhammad kill any women or children? The sheikh will say, Zakarnak will say, no. What? No, man, you filthy liar. <laughs> yes. Don't say no. Yes, say yes. Muhammad ordered the killing of women and children because they are among them. Right? We gave you the hadith. Let me give you the hadith again, guys. For the people who just joined or did not know about this hadith. Do we have any sheikh, guys? I mean, let me open up my Skype. It said, it said, that there is no sheikh or any Muslim who think he has the courage and the knowledge to call me. What are they, man? <clears throat> Someone sent me a message in Skype. I don't want to mention that name. But he's saying, can you explain the word Islam? I hear that it's the opposite of peace. It's Islam, my friend, if you are listening. Islam means surrender. That's what Islam means. Aslim fataslim, surrender or else. Right? Surrender or else. Aslim fataslim. Surrender. It means surrender. To who? To Muhammad. To who? Yes, to Muhammad. We proved from the Quran, guys. We proved to you from the Quran. From chapter 48, ayah 9, that you have to worship Muhammad. So, when you have to surrender, when you have to surrender, that means you have to surrender for Muhammad because he is your God, ya Muhammadan. Right? That's the meaning of Islam, guys. Is there any Abdul? Is there any Abdu? Do we have any Muslim? Islam means peace, brother. <laughs> yeah. We proved today, guys, that Islam means the religion of pieces, right? Religion of pieces. We proved to you that women are nothing but animals in Islam. Women, Muslim women, are nothing but animals in Islam. Women are like cows and horses and camels for all are ridden. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Bing bang bang bong bong yeah. Ferfiz, Ferfiz, call me, call me, Abdul, call me. Do you have Skype, Ferfiz? Do you have Skype? Don't say you don't have Skype. Ferfiz, I'm live. This is my live show. Call me. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Call me, man. 
or give me your Skype ID and I will call you. Yalla, akhi, yalla. Yalla, chauffeur, yalla. I mean, call me, man. Where is Zekar Naik when you need him, man? Ehda, call me, man. Yalla, akhi, yalla, yalla, yalla. يلا يلا يا حبيبي يلا يلا كول 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 كم اون يلا يا حبيبي يلا حبيبي يلا كول راب كريشن يلا حبيبي يلا كم اون مان ديفند يور ريليجن مان وي ار سبانكينج يور ريليجن ليفت اند رايت اند يو كان نوت ديفند كول مي ميبي يو كان شت داون ماي بروجرام مان ميبي فاينلي يو كان شت داون ماي بروجرام Maybe you can silence me. The guy went silent. I, he's silent, man. Why are you silent now, man? Come on, call me, man. What happened, Abdul? Jews divide people. That's what he said, guys. Look, look. Jews divide people. <laughs> Oh, a lot of mercy. So, because Jews have divide people, you have to kill them? Huh? You have to kill all the Jews. Because they divide? So that they have to go? What do you mean go, Rob Christian? They have to die. Oh, okay. They have to die, die, die. You have to kill all the Jews, the Jews. It's the Jews, the Jews. Always the Jews, Jews. You have to kill the Jews, else the hour will not come, 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 come. Come, come. The hour will not come. Come, come, come. Always with an echo, guys. Where is the stars? Oh, stars? Where are you, stars? Oh, stars? Where are the stars from Indonesia? 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 I mean, come on. If you really know Islam, Allah will be with you. Right? Allah is always with you. So you, you, you be happy, man. Be happy. Allah is with you. Call me. You have Allah's blessings, barakat, hadaya. So you can call me and you can refute me, right? Nice to have you, Muhammad the Gaylord. Uh, okay. I don't like your name, bro. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Welcome on board, my friend. God bless you and your family. <laughs> You know, you Christians, you are really creative, man, with, the, with those names. You know. Hey, guys, have you seen my, uh, my live show and my video? I made two videos. A, a short video about Muhammad being a bisexual. And I made a long live show about Muhammad being a bisexual. So I have two videos. Actually, Muhammad was actually really bisexual. He had sexual activities with men. He was raped by his own cousin. His own uncle had sex with him in the bed of his uncle. Thank you for your donations. God bless you and your families. Thank you for your support. God bless. Yes, don't say what. True story, my friend. Muhammad was raped by his own cousin. And his uncle told him to come naked in his bed. So Lord knows what his uncle was doing to him when he was a kid. A religion of pieces, you mean Muhammad the yeah. Don't say religion of peace. Religion of pieces. Because we proved it to you that it's a religion of pieces. And unfortunately, no Muslim dares to call me to refute me. Because they they basically know this, right? They know this. But they know Rob Christian, we cannot use taqiyya on Rob Christian. He ate his seven ajwa this morning. He is immune for taqiyya. Right? That's why you're not calling me, right, Muslims? Because you know Rob Christian is immune for taqiyya. He ate the seven ajwa. I ate seven ajwa. I always before I go live, guys, always before I do a live broadcasting, I make sure to eat my seven ajwa with a cup of tea or coffee. Right? Because Muhammad said so. Seven Ajwa.
This is why I'm immune for taqiyah. Guys, I want to show you something. I don't want to go too far off topic, but you know, since there were no Muslims who dare to call me, I want to show you something, okay? Bear with me. Okay. Do you see it? Okay. You can see this, right, guys? We made a video, guys. We made a video. <clears throat> we made a video and showed you and explained to you. You know, you have to know Arabic for this, but I'll try to be very specific and try to teach you what's hip happening here. If you go to Quran, you go to chapter the, of the cow, that same cow that we mentioned earlier, right? Surah Al-Baqarah, the chapter of the cow. Are you with me, guys? Are you with me? Please focus. Are you with me? No, no, Bali, regal. This is not typo. Okay, pay attention because this has nothing to do with a typo. Pay attention, guys. Pay attention. I know this is off topic, but, you know, Muslims always claim that the Quran is a miracle from Allah, right? Oh boy, we're going to spank Allah and Muhammad here. In chapter of Al-Baqarah, you have the name of Abraham, Ibrahim, right? They call him Ibrahim in the Arabic, Ibrahim, right? It is written without an E. So as you see, guys, if you look carefully, here you have the, word, the letter E, right? And here you don't have the letter E. So in chap only in chapter Al-Baqarah, the name of Abraham or Ibrahim is spelled like this without an E here, right? See it? You, you can see it, man. Else go see a, a doctor, right? Go see an eye doctor if you don't see the difference. So, but in the rest of the 1313 chapters, so one chapter and the rest of the chapters, the rest of the 113 chapters, there are 114, only one chapter, writes the name of Ibrahim like this. But the rest of them, they write Ibrahim like this. So Allah, I'm going to ask Allah this question. Allah, is it, is the name of Ibrahim like this or like this? Which one is correct? Only one can be correct, guys. I mean, this is a name. And this is Allah we are talking about. This is the book of Allah. Can Allah make such mistakes? Huh? Can Allah make such mistakes? Zakir Naik will say, no. Well, why no? Well, uh, please answer the question. Well, Allahu A'lam. Allah knows best. What? Is that your answer? Allahu A'lam. I said Allahu A'lam, Akhi. Okay, okay. So, when we ask the shiuch, why are you not fixing this? You know what they say? Are you telling us that we need to fix what we have always read before? We know, they know this is a huge disaster, right? They know. If you call yourself God, Allah is calling himself God, how can you write the name of Ibrahim differently? In one chapter, all the ayahs in this chapter are, is written like this. But the rest of the chapters have the name of Ibrahim, Abraham, with an E. And here without an E. So if Allah claims to be God, you cannot make such mistakes. Hence, clearly the Quran, the Quran is a man-made book because if you are making such mistakes, that means your book is man-made. Right? The book of Allah is man-made book and Allah does not exist. Boom. Because if truly Allah would have been God, that's what they said, Allah could not have made such huge, huge disasters. Note, names, these are the names of Abraham, right? Ibrahim, Ibrahim, but here without an E, here with an E. So which one is correct? Only one can be correct. Don't tell me. I mean, it's a name. Can I write Abraham differently? 
No. And this is God we are talking about, right? Supposedly God. So, Mr. Abdul, which one is correct? Don't say both. You can't load, play those games with me. Sorry, I'm Rob Christian. You see that? You see how this is a man-made book? And this is just one, one, one example, guys. There are hundreds on top of hundreds of such examples, right? We showed you in an earlier teaching, right, guys? <clears throat> Let me show you, guys, another example. Guys, do you like this or should we... Shall I, shall I show you another example of should, should we go back to the topic? It's up to you guys. I have many examples to show you, but shall I continue? Are, are you sure? No. <laughs> Is it a yes or a no? Okay. So, okay, okay. Let me continue. Let me show you another huge disaster. This is another example, guys. This word it's actually the same word. Uh oh, no, Rob Christian. Are you, are you joking? No, I'm not joking. This is the same word. It says, O son of my mother. Yabna umma. Yabna umma. Now, guys, guys, pay attention. If I give this word to a college student, an Arabic speaking college student, he cannot read this. He or she cannot read this. I'm talking about a college student, a university student. Why? Because it's not written today like this, right? It's written like this. This is the same chapter, right, guys? Chapter 20, I-94. Chapter 20, I-94. So which one is correct, Muslims? Is, this, is it this one or is it this one? Now, let me show you, guys. I mean, only one can be correct, right, guys? Let me show you the deception of the Abduls. Now, pay attention with me. Guys, you need to focus because I know most of you don't know Arabic. So, you have to be really focused to understand the deception. Let me go to the same chapter. Ch chapter 20, right? Surah At-Taha, Ayah 94. Same chapter, right, guys? 90. Almost there. This is the word. Yabna Umma. Let me play the recording for you guys. Pay attention, okay? Did you hear it? Again. Yabna Umma. Right? Did you hear it? Okay. You heard it. So here, it's written like this. Now let us go to a different website. Let us go to Quran.com, okay? Quran.com. This is the number one website, right? To go to. Chapter 20. I, uh, 94. Oh, not 95, 94, Rob Christian. Okay. Chapter at -taha, Chapter at -taha, Aya 94 from chapter 20, right? Look how it's written, guys. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see the difference? Here it's written like this. I mean, this is the same chapter, the same ayah, right? This website, let me give you the links so you can't say, Rob Christian, you're lying. No, no, Habibi, I'm not lying. This is one. Open it up, guys. If you are behind a computer or whatever, open it up and see the difference of these words. You have to look up for this word. And if we go to another website that I just used, this one writes it like this. You see? Compare them. This is the word. Yabna umma. You see? So I only made screenshot, guys. I made screenshot to prove it to you, right? These are the words. You see? Here... The difference is, it's written separately, and they added Aleph, the A, right, basically. You see it? 
So which one is correct? You see how they are deceiving the people? So this website, guys, they played with the Quran, actually. Because today's Abduls, they can only read it if it's written like this. And as you see, the deception is huge, huge, huge. Many Qurans, yeah, Peter. So which one is correct, Abduls? Don't tell me it's both. <laughs> Don't tell me it's both. I can't go with you because I'm immune for your taqiyya. I'm an Arab like you. I'm an Arabic speaker. You can't play those games with me. Right? You see? And the proof is... So which one is correct? Did Allah send it like this or like this? Uh-oh. Maybe the correct one is R? This is the correct one? <laughs> That's a good one, actually. You know, to nail the nail on the coffin of Muhammad. Right? To show you, to bust him more, let me show you the third example. Samiri. Samiri. Guys, a Samiri is a Samaritan. Have you heard of, of a Samaritan, guys? Samaritan is a people, right? A tribe. Samiri. Here, as you see, the difference is very clear, right? You see the difference? Chapter 20, same chapter. Ayah 95, and here this is Ayah 85. Which one is correct? I mean, it's, it's, it's a tribe. Can you, can you write the Jews differently than this? This is Jews, right? This is how you write Jews. And when you claim that the Quran is of, from Allah, the Quran is from Allah, that means you can't make such a huge disaster. So which one is correct? Only one is correct. Only one is correct. Is it with the Alif, with the A in the middle or not? You see, the difference is here, right? Here. Let me prove it from the Quran to you. Right? Let me go to the Quran to prove it, my point. Chapter 20, 20, 95. The next word, actually. The next ayah, actually. 95. You see it? You see it? Samiri. Right? Here, it's without an alif, right guys? Without. Now if we go, this is chapter 20, I 95, right? 20, I 95. Let us go to 85, right? Let us go to 85. Eighty-five. This is the word, right, guys? Samiri. You see it? <laughs> ah, you see? With an elif, but here, without. Uh oh, see? We are not lying to you guys. You see it? So Allah, if you claim to be Allah, you claim to be God, which one is correct? This is a name of a tribe, of people. You can't tell me this, this both are correct. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Habibi, no, 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 no. It's not working with me. And these are only a couple examples, guys. You see it? This is the Hafs Quran, by the way. Hafs Quran, Hafs, 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 recitation, recitation of Hafs, Hafs. Right? The most used Quranic version in the world. Here's another example. Chapter 51. Sahir, wizard or a magician. Right? Sahir. 51, 51. 39, 52. Without an alif, with an alif, with an a. Sa, sa. Sahir. Sahir. He is without, he is with. You see it? Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of mistakes like this. 
I mean, if this is God, God cannot make such mistakes. Clearly, this is a book made by people like you and me. Right? Endless mistake, exactly Ace Carroll. Endless of mistakes in the man-made book of the Muhammadis. Exactly, TM Crossbills, but you know. Do you see it? How many examples do I need to show you, guys? To prove my point. Here's another one. And this is going to be the last one. This is even more worse. Rahmata. Rahmata. Mercy. He, this is even more worse. Chapter 2, Ayah 218. Chapter 3, Ayah 8. Here, the last word, see, it's different. This is Te Marbuta, Te Meftoha, Te Marbuta, right? A close to T. This is a T, right? Rahmata, Ta, Ta. This is closed, this is open. Which one is correct? I mean, it's the same word. Uh oh. Abdul's, which one is correct? Only one can be correct. And we showed you one, two, three, four, and five examples. And there are hundreds like these. Hundreds on top on, upon hundreds. You see how important it is to, to be an Arabic speaker like me, guys? Guys, again, for the people who just joined, you don't need Rob Christian. You don't need Christian Prince. You only need Jesus. But clearly, this was the plan of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to, some, to send someone like me. You don't need me. But this is the plan of Jesus. You need Jesus. And it's Jesus' plan to send Rob Christian to provide you the evidence that the Quran is a man-made book. Right? I'm replaceable, guys. Christian Prince is re replaceable. You don't need us. But you need Jesus. Please, Muslims, come back home to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Right? All glory to Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Every knee will bow and proclaim Jesus is Lord. Please, Muslims. How many proof do we need you to see? How many proof do I need to provide that Islam is a man-made cult? Created by one man for his own sexual desires and power lust. What did Aisha say, guys? What did Aisha say? Ma ara rabbuka illa yusara fi hawaka ya Muhammad. Right? She said, I see that your Lord hastens to fulfill your desires, ah, Muhammad. You know, Aisha busted Muhammad. She immediately, you know, this guy is a liar. This guy is a scam. His own wife, Aisha, the baby bride of Muhammad. She knew Muhammad is a liar. Every time he needs help, suddenly Allah is there to help him out. Aisha knew. Yeah, Aisha knew, guys. Right? I see your Lord always runs his ass off to help you out when you are busted. Basically, right? <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Phil Herrera, my friend, for providing the hadith. Guys, keep us in your prayers. We need your prayers. Pray for our admins. Right? To keep, Lord willing, keep doing amazing live shows. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Also, don't forget to click on the notification bell to receive notifications when we go live like today. To bust this man-made cult. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed today's teaching. Help me to help you download our videos. Cut parts that you like from our teachings. I'm not asking you to do what I'm doing, guys. Maybe not. Ev this is maybe not for everybody, right? But at least do what you have to do. If you can save one Muslim out of this cult... Help me to help you. Just one soul is enough, right guys? And according to the Bible, according to the Bible, if one Muslim or any 
person or any human is saved, there will be a huge celebration in heaven. God bless you, my friends. Thank you for your support. I love you. You are my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you for your support. Keep us in your prayers and our admins too. They are always doing a nice job. Any Muslim? I mean, come on, man. I'm two hours and 16 minutes already live. Two hours and 16 minutes. And we have more than 100 people watching. And no Muslim dares to call me? What a shame. Where is Ali Dawa? What did he say? And I quote, We glorify Jesus more than you Christians. What did Ali Dawa say? Allah praises Muhammad. What? Yeah, Allah praises Muhammad. But my friend, you said Allah praise two, uh, four, not two. <laughs> Allah praise four. Allah praise? Allah praises? These are your Muslim heroes, guys. These are your Muslim heroes. You glorify Jesus more than us? Well, that's nice. I love you to glorify Jesus. I love to see that. Ali Dawa. I love Ali Dawa to see that he makes my job much easier. When you glorify Jesus more than me, that means you're a better Christian than me. Well, that's good. <laughs> nice. I mean, Ali Dawa has more than 300k subscribers. 300k subscribers. That means when you glorify Jesus, that means the ones who are following you, they are Christians like you. So that's good. You're making my job much easier. All right. You glorify Jesus more than us, Ali Dawa. <laughs> I mean, guys, you have seen the video, right? By now. All of you have seen my video about it. I made a live show and I made a short video. If you didn't see it, go watch it. Watch it, guys. It's a huge, huge bust. Go watch it, guys. One of my last videos. The short one or the big one. Guys. Please don't forget to subscribe, right? And smash that like button. Help me to help you. Any Muslim? Yeah, Ali Dawa is Ali Christian now. Ali Dawa is now Ali. You should call him Ali Christian from now on. He's a Christian. I think Mimi Hijab is going to use MMA tactics on Ali Dawa. Don't you think, guys? If Mimi Hijab sees that video of mine, he's going to smash him. You're finished. Ali Dawa, you're finished, Ali Dawa, you're finished, you're finished, you're finished. That's what Mimi Hijab saying. You're finished, you're finished. That's his quote, right, guys? You're finished, Ali Dawa. You're finished, you're finished. Did you hear? You're finished. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't you see Mimi Hijab saying, you're finished? <laughs> this guy's mentally ill, bro. I kid you not. Yeah, he's a Christian. Ali Dawa is a Christian. You're finished, Ali Dawa. Yeah. You're gone. You're out of here, man. You're a Christian kafir. Get out of my, get out of my team. <laughs> Good one. Ah, oh, man. You guys are killing me, man. Stop with the jokes, bro. I don't like joking, man. Did you notice? I don't like to joke around here. This is serious business. <laughs> yeah. Any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim? Show your face, Rob Christian. You coward. You Rob Christian. You coward. You coward. You finished, Rob. You finished. Show me your face, Abdul. Why? Am I not doing enough damage? Am I not doing enough damage? You need me to show me your face. Why? Why you want to date me? Are you in love with me or what? Why do you want to see my face, man? I mean, I know I'm very beautiful, guy. You know, guys. If I show you my face, oh, you start to feel in love with me like uh, Muhammad immediately fell in love with the naked body of his daughter-in-law, Zainab bint Jash. Immediately. Subhan qalb al qulub. Glory to the one who turns hearts. You'll be like Muhammad, man. You'll fall in love with me, man. <laughs> nah, guys. I'm actually very ugly. You don't want to see my face, man. Come on. Why do you want to see my face? 
Yeah, man. If I show you my face, all the mirrors in your house immediately will get broken, man. You will not have any mirror left in your house if I show you my face, man. I'm that ugly. Right? You see, Phil Herrera, man, God bless you, bro. Immediately the guy is giving you links for what we say. Guys, keep our admins, please keep them in your prayers. And they are always doing an amazing job, man. Amazing, guys. <laughs> CP say you want to look at this, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you think CP is more uglier than me, bro? I, don't, I know he has a very long beard, but, you know. I mean, I mean, beards can be, uh, you know, manly, right? I mean, don't you like Santa Claus? Santa Claus has a beard. What's wrong with you guys? Show me one guy who doesn't like Santa Claus. I mean, Santa Claus gives you presents for Christmas and what? Don't say he's ugly. Any Muslim? Yeah, Santa Claus. Is any Muslim here with us? Who has the courage and the knowledge to refute me on my today's teaching? Mayday. Any Muslim? Yeah, I have a, no, no, I don't have a long beard. I have a very long mustache, John 3, 17. My mustache is much longer than Ali Dawa and Mimi Hijab's mustache. I out-mustache them. <laughs> Guys, stop making me say bad jokes. Man. It's bad joke, Rob. Bad, bad joke, Rob. Bad joke. Don't do it. You're finished. You're finished, Rob. You're Christian. You're finished. Yeah. Where is Ali Dawa when you need him? Where is Mimi Hijab? Where is those stars? Where is Zakir Naik? Brother, sister. Where is Zakir Naik when you need him? Brother, brother, sister. Brother Thitha, where are you? Why, why are you sleeping with Zaka? Brother Thitha. Yeah. Anyway, where, guys, 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 come on, man. What's this, man? We are spanking your fake prophet and your fake religion. And you're not calling me. What's that, man? Guys, if I finish my live show and I go to Discord, they will spam me left and right in the text, the Muslims. But when we are live, they don't dare to call me. Why is that? I wonder why. Rob Christian in the text. You're finished, Rob Christian. You liar, you filthy liar, you filthy Christian. Yeah, right. Talk is cheap in text, right, guys? Talk is cheap in text. Muhammad himself would have been ashamed of today's Muslims. They, he would have been ashamed for Muslims who are not defending Islam from us. We are spanking your fake religion left and right. And unfortunately, you can't do anything about it. Right? Guys, <clears throat> thank you for watching. God bless you. Thank you for your support. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. Smash it. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. God bless you and your families. Jesus is Lord. Every knee will bow. And will accept Jesus as his Lord and Savior. Every knee will bow and proclaim that Jesus is Lord. Muhammad is a fake prophet. He created Islam 1400 years ago for his own sexual desires. For his own power, desires. Aisha busted him. Ma ara rabbuka illa yusara fuhawaka ya Muhammad. Right? I see your Lord always hastens to fulfill your desires, Muhammad. She noticed. Ibn al-Jurran, you coward. Guys, Ibn al-Jurran, he is a coward. He is a coward. He will never ever call me. He once challenged me for a debate, but he had no clue who I was, right? Now he's... Are you, are you uh, 
You want to kill me? Ibn al-Juran, why? I have only two months. You want to kill me? <laughs> oh, what's with the, with the threats, man? What's with the threats, man? You coward. Call me. I'm live. You coward. He challenged me, guys, in, on Discord before. Before I started doing live shows, by the way. He challenged me and he never showed up. All right? You f filthy coward. I have only two months. What will happen, man? The religion of peace. You want to kill me? <laughs> Keyboard terrorist. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. God bless you. We showed you today, guys. We showed you today that the Quran of Allah is corrupted, right? Allah cannot change his mind. He always busts himself. He can't even choose which way to write the name of uh, Ibrahim. We showed you many examples like this, right, guys? Look. Right? We proved to you that women in Islam are nothing but animals, right? They are compared to cows, horses, and camels because they are all to be ridden, right? Muhammad himself compared women with dogs and donkeys. And we prove to you that Islam is not the religion of peace as Muslims claim it to be, right? God bless you guys. God bless your families. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. Islam is fake and Jesus, our Lord and Savior, is the King of Kings. Glory to his name. Islam is fake. Jesus is Lord. Amen to that. Thank you for watching and God bless.